Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Um, so, I am stuck right now. And uh, this car is not going anywhere. Uh, I'm at uh, Burger King right now. And uh, just got finished eating lunch. Um, got back to, into my car. Tried to start it. Nothing happened. I was thinking at that point it's probably the battery. I turned my headlights on, went out just to see the headlights. Headlights were pretty bright. Doesn't really mean anything though. No, it kind of does. I mean, I didn't think it was the battery to begin with because I changed it up like six months ago. But just to be sure, I asked a couple of people uh, whether they give me a jump. Had this dude give me a jump. Had the uh, terminals on the battery for a good uh, uh, couple of minutes. Try to start up. Still nothing. And at that point, I knew it was not the battery. Uh, at that point, I also knew it was not the alternator, being as uh, if I was the alternator. <clears throat> uh, once I put the terminals on, it would have jumped the car. The car would have worked. As soon as I took the terminals, the, the, the cables off, the car would have died out. That's not the situation that came up. So I could say it's not the, the uh, battery. It's not the alternator. And my car didn't die out while it's running. So that's another clue. At that point, I was thinking to myself, could it be maybe the uh, fuses, the relays? So I actually checked the fuses and relay, uh, found out where the starter relay was, took it out, uh, and uh, popped in a, sim a similar relay that had the same numbers. Um, I don't know what part that went to, but I swapped it out, and and uh, nothing happened. But but I was hearing I was hearing a click every time I tried to start it. So that meant that uh, the relay was working, a solenoid was working, there was electricity going from the relay to the, the, the starter, etc., etc. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, what else could it be? Uh, might be a fuse. I was looking around the fuse, uh, fuse box. There is absolutely, um, I couldn't see any blown fuses, but that doesn't mean much. Didn't have a fuse tester on me, but you know, just from deduction. Um, I know from my previous experiences that, uh, you know, uh, I had one time where my uh, my car wouldn't start, but I was getting no, nothing, uh, no lights, no dash, no power, and it turned out to be the main fuse, swapped out the main fuse, and everything worked, but that's not the situation because I'm getting, uh, everything else works in this, in this car except for the fact that, except for, for the fact that, uh, uh, you know, it's not cranking. So I could say that it's not that situation with a fuse. I mean, the other situation I have fuse was with, uh, I don't know whether it was fused to the bad PCM or the, or the fuel pump or whatever, but I was able to crank my car, but it would not, uh, it would not crank over. You know, it wouldn't start, it would crank, but it wouldn't start, uh, wouldn't crank. It would crank, but it wouldn't start. It's not the situation here because I'm not getting a crank at all. It's not cranking at all. It's not starting, but it's not cranking at all. I am getting full power to everything, but it's not cranking at all. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's not the fuse. Um, at this point, I'm thinking it's the starter. It might be the starter. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the only way for me to do that is to test it out, and I can't do it right now. Um, I was thinking maybe it would be the... Uh, the brake switch, uh, maybe it's a brake switch. I'm not quite sure, um, uh, but uh, I don't have another brake switch for me to swap out, so I can't really uh, diagnose it that it is in this, the brake switch. <clears throat> but um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated because I'm actually waiting for AAA to. Um, <laughs> I'm actually waiting for AAA to tow my car, and it's been an hour since, uh, since I since they they got back to me. So I'm gonna give them a call right now. But stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna give you guys updated. Keep... All right, guys. So basically, it took two hours for AAA to get to me. Um, I'm glad I spent my time making that video. But I uh, uh, hope this video has helped you guys out in some way. But it turned out to be um, the starter that was the problem. So basically. I, you know, once I got it towed, I did some, I, you know, I checked out all the fuses with a fuse tester. Everything was good. As far as the relay was concerned, didn't test out the relay. Um, but, but, but I didn't have to. Uh, as far as the, uh, 
uh, brake switch was concerned. I actually used something to, you know, keep the brakes down, went to the back, check out the lights, and all the lights, the brake lights were good. So I knew it was in the brake switch that was the problem. Basically, uh, the last diagnosis was on a starter, and for me to get to that, I had to take everything off um, and ran a line, a positive, from the positive terminal of the battery to the uh, positive of the there's only one terminal on the solenoid as far as I can remember popped it in and see if it made any noise it didn't make any noise didn't work at all so so it was it was um, the starter was the problem um, I took it to AutoZone got another starter for about 150 I believe the core that they charged was like 30 or something like that maybe it's a bit more I'm not sure but got a hundred percent got it rebuilt it's a lifetime warranty, popped it in, um, started my car, and it works fine. It works fine. Hope this starter lasts. Um, if this has helped you guys in, in, any, in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please, um, you know, if you have any comments, uh, this has helped you out. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment or question, guys. All right? Take care.